YouTube, what's going on guys? Dual universe, the sun is just now coming up. Look at, as the sun is rising, you can see the shadow of fell, oh, man. Dang it. <laughs> there goes that. It's probably gone now. But it was interesting, it was awesome because I saw the shadow effect started going down. I think you can still see it. No, probably not. Okay. Yep. Okay. The moment's gone. Anyway, so look at the progress, guys. Look at the progress. Um, today is uh, October 7th, and this is what I've done so far. This is this is a medium core, this one back here. Um, and I can go pretty high. This is nowhere near. This is all temporary right here. I just wanted to bring the machines from the old setup over here and get it going. And once, um, once I got here and I'm trying to really get organized I really found out how much I need more containers especially this the mediums I think large is overkill for transferring product from you know this assembly line to this machine to go over to these machine and whatever the case may be that uh, larges are way overkill as a matter of fact I think these smalls are pretty decent these smalls do a pretty good job um, the extra smalls are no go. They don't hold enough. So I'm having a medium built right now. And it has uh, 50 more minutes to go. Having a medium built here. Um, once I put the medium down, I'll be able to transfer all the items from my large container, which is all the way over there. Right over there. That's where my large container is. Um, I tried putting everything into this small container and that small container, but uh, that was a no-go. It wasn't going to happen. So I can't bring that container over here yet. But until then, I'm just getting an idea of exactly what I want to manufacture. And also, this is kind of temporary, too. I wanted to go with, this is my purple. And I wanted to put glass in some of the floor so we can actually see down <laughs> into the planet that's kind of sweet I, I like it so I, I'm, I'm gonna leave that tree up this tree and this right over here I'm gonna leave this in place as well the, the only bad part about this is if I were to put a wall right here I don't really know that that's not gonna look good so I have to figure that out maybe maybe I'll have um, no this is the edge so I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'll have to get rid of this tree and flatten all this because I mean I can't have this going up and then have the tree going through the wall. That that that, that won't that, that's not a good look. So this is blue, uh, black plastic, and then this is ply. Everything's pretty much plastic except for this. I think this is yeah that's glossy aluminum there. This is glass. So. And I have yet to put anything over here, but I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. Just have it all black over there. Now here, I put, if you remember that luminescent, pretty much that pole I put in the middle of the old layout over there. I'm going to put that right here, and I'm going to have that going all the way down on the outside of this purple. And then I might put purple the purple luminescent from here down as well all the way down don't know yet but I think that's going to be part of uh, what I manufacture is going to be the luminescent um, honeycomb I think that's what I call it, honeycomb right no okay luminescent white glass so I, I'll be manufacturing all the different colors of the luminescent glass maybe I'll see how involved that is um, but just getting started I'm going to manufacture the small containers, the medium container, and potentially the large container. But the large, con oops, the large container. Let's see, basic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely the large one. All right, it doesn't have anything that requires uh, tier two ores. So, yeah, I'm going to do small, medium, and large. And also, let's 
do basic mining unit. Uh, yep, I think. Okay, yeah, we'll do the large auto miners. And unfortunately, the non-business savvy folk whom are driving the prices down. Basic auto mining large. Look at this. Look at the price, bro. It's all the way down to 199. What the heck? People don't get it. It's like if, if you put one for 199, someone else is probably going to come along and then put one down for 189.99. Then it's going to keep. It's going to continue to go down. So I'm going to put mine up for sale for 225 and just leave it there. Because eventually someone will buy all these and then the 225 mark. I think that's a good price for those miners. Because it, d it does take a while to get them, you know, to manufacture those. So, and the blueprints are expensive. So anyway, so this is where I am. I like this. This is going to be dope when I get the uh, luminescent glass all the way down. Hey, this is off. What the... How did that happen? That is not okay. Man. Alright, so let's do here to here. We're going to do a copy and we're going to do a paste. Perfect. Alright, we're going to do, we're going to get rid of you. And then we're going to go from here to here. Is that how far I did it? Hmm. So let's do this to here. Control copy. Rotate this bad boy. There. Boom. All right. And then rotate it again like this. And let's do like. There. Okay, there we go. That's fixed. Yeah, and so I want to take that all the way down. But again, that's going to be some crazy amount of manufacturing to get this, the luminescent glass. That's, I have to, I'm going to buy a, hold on, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to buy, my next territory is going to be here. Like right, like right there in pursuit of the, I think it's called Natron or Nitron. Let's go luminescent there. Let's just click on this. So in order to get these advanced, this here, I need Natron. I need that. And that usually comes out of the cold, out of the mountains. So that's going to be my next territory. I'm going to buy one over there. I was actually seeing if I can come up with a way, but I mean, it'd be crazy expensive, but that'd be so sweet if I could just have all my, like, <laughs> put territory from here all the way over. Down, over, and then boom. And have all these uh, territories. I'm all about that, all about that life. But unfortunately with us having a maximum of 50 uh, charges it's just it, it's not possible I still think the most you can have is like 10 10 by, as a solo player because they just don't it, they don't recharge enough they don't recharge fast enough rather so anyhow that's the update for right now what I'm going to do again today is October 7th I'm starting this episode and I'm going to continue to bring over the rest of the items from over there which again is just a large container but when I hit inventory I get out of here all of this is coming from over there and unfortunately you guys know you can't link these machines which is in this core to anything outside of this core for whatever reason so I'm gonna get that over here um, I'm gonna finish up my floor and then I want to 
decide what I'd probably start manufacturing the small container first get an assembly line put up um, and like I was going I wanted to do the hub uh, that's a no-go bro that's a no-go look at this all kinds of advanced everything look I the pyrite I don't know I know in the beta I just went to the space station and bought that stuff I didn't go looking for it so but I do plan on um, owning a tile somewhere on some planet that will allow me to have these advanced ores like this so we'll see eventually but until now up until that point I'll just have to um, buy the hub if they're even available yeah look at this Aliop District 6 someone has 54 of these things for sale for 165 that's awesome so yeah, it's well worth it you know to be able to link all the containers and everything together which is what like if I had a hub I could have did that with these two smalls to bring over the inventory which I probably could because I do have a um, a hub that is out of the ship the ship blueprint for the mule that still will not um, deploy correctly because I can't remove the dynamic properties from this still which is crazy so yeah uh, it has been days since I've uh, submitted the ticket but nothing's been done so no worries we'll keep it moving all right so I'll cut the video and I'll come back when I have some more progress all right guys quick update for you it's still um, October 7th and the sun is here because of course you guys know it goes down in the west so eh, have a little bit of daylight um so once the light once the daylight hit this purple it was this is a little too light for me i do like that purple but it's too light i like this though this is called glossy dark purple plastic cold so this is what i'm going to do the basin i'm going to remove all this and put this color purple down and it's going to be around here i'm gonna have it go over I haven't decided yet you know i'm playing with this is black here maybe bounce it off purple there have the purple go all the way up the building and maybe have black go over there and around and down i don't know or some type of black pattern instead of just matte um just a flat black like this a flat glossy black like this maybe some type of pattern because i've noticed when i go into the craft i go to black um uh, black pattern brick see that that's pretty freaking sweet all right yeah that's dope what's going on here this should have been done i've been noticing things like this have been happening where it gets stuck like this and there's plenty of everything I don't really know why it's not doing it but anyway I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna do that let's do this here put this up here there now it works so oh that's why it was doing that okay no worries let's do this there we go so we're gonna see what this black pattern brick looks like Ooh, that'd probably be sweet Glossy black. Hmm. Wax black brick. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's super freaking sweet. Okay. Okay. I think we may have to do one more of these. Oops. Let's put that up here. This needed. Oh, it needs a hundred of those. Okay, so let's do this again. Let's do that. There. And then let's do this waxed black brick. Ooh, that could be dope. Wax it? Oh, yeah. I like the shiny stuff. Glossy black carbon. F no, no. I'm doing carbon fiber. We'll put that on the ship or something. Paint it black. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I like the brick. This may look good. 
matte black brick nah I'm not a matte type of guy I like shiny alright so anyway I'm getting ready to head over to and for those of you who may be wondering why I go to that market instead of the one that's closer here's my idea if I'm going to just sell I can go right here and go sell this is only 14 K away from me instead of being 26 or 20 yeah, 26 away from me but when I want to go and if I want to just go sell my ore I can go here but if I want to actually put something on the market to sell like I'm getting ready to I'm gonna go over here and sell at this location because what if someone what if someone wants to buy this product but they don't have the capabilities of flying to this planet to pick it up so they could be at their planet and jump on a shuttle shuttle here and take the shuttle um, and you can actually teleport to different districts you can't teleport to this market over here but you can teleport to these districts so this is why I always sell anything that I'm going to put on the market I put it at a, uh, at a district like this and not at one of these so I hope that makes sense to you guys um, so I'm going to do I'm gonna put an armored door I don't I have no idea how big the door is so this was just an, again this is all temporary I'm trying to figure out what colors to go with I'm trying to put, figure out what design I do know what I want to do is have it where you can land you can walk right down this line walk through an armored door and I'm going to have different areas of manufacturing but it's all going to be centered on this walkway so I'm never going to obstruct this and then when I want to go upstairs I'll put an elevator right here zip and go straight upstairs right and I want to put windows where I can see all the manufacturing and as you can see these right here that's a window in that suite it's kind of hard to see right it looks like you can just walk right through here <laughs> anyway um, all right we're gonna go to the market and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm getting ready to sell I have 20 oh I have 30 of these small static cores that should be a nice little stream of income and I have one medium container that I want to sell all right because I only have hundred and eighty four thousand dollars now but this is uh, hold on I just got a message sorry guys um Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, what am I doing? Um, container. Yeah, 184,000 basic container. Nope, 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 nope. Basic container, medium. And they're selling for 194,000 minimum. Uh, minimum. I'm not going to sell for that. I'm going to sell for probably two. Probably 225 somewhere in there because again this market people they continue to crash the market by putting these really low prices in here and they really need to calculate how much between the price of the schematic how long it takes the price of each individual part and how long it takes to actually manufacture that medium container right um, for me I, 200,000 is minimum that should be the baseline but 225 I like that. I like that price point. Um, so my balance is 184, and I'll show you guys. Here we are. Territories. Everything's paid up for the next five days, so I should have a couple million. At least, um, let's say the goal is like 10 million by the time this comes due. And I want once I get these, I want to put another 500,000. In each one of these and once I get those at 500,000 that's when I'm going to expand again more territories Ooh, the brick is done let's see what that looks like uh, hmm. let's go here and where's the brick 
waxed black brick. Oh, I gotta. Oh, I gotta see this. Gotta, gotta, gotta. What the? Hmm. Yeah, let's see what this looks. What the? Nope. Uh, let's go like this, and then go up to here. Oh, <laughs> let's see what that looks like. So we see what that looks like. Kind of plain, right? Um, hmm. That doesn't look much better. Waxed black brick. That that doesn't look much better than this. Doesn't look. <laughs> I can't tell the freaking difference. Oh, okay. I can. Okay, got it. I can see the texture up close. Got it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the texture up close. Cause there, there. This is like silky smooth with no texture. This has the texture up close though. But if you stand back here, you really can't tell the difference. So what would be the benefit of me putting this up? over this I'm in a safe zone so I don't need to have something heavy duty to tolerate bullets or anything like that right I don't even know if that's a thing hmm alright I don't know no idea so what I'm going to do is oh see my upgraded wings I made these I didn't steal those from the ship that I still can't deploy but I did steal some of these these little adjusters I stole those and I put this ginormous, uh, large, flat hover engine on the bottom. And I put a small um, container on the front. And I filled up the container. I filled up my, my person. And I filled up this extra small container full of ore. I went over to the market back over there. That's only 14 away from me, 14 clicks away from me. And I sold it in order to make enough money to pay the 500,000 that was due on my property today. I had two properties that were due today, 500 grand. So I got those paid with um, the money I got from selling the core. Remember I made that medium core, the extra medium core. I, I sold that and I sold some small cores and then I sold the ore. That's how I paid all the, the property taxes. So now I'm getting ready to go list. Let me, go, let me make sure I have that on me, on my person. I know I do, because I put it over here. Yep, I'm getting ready to sell these two. So that should be about 500,000 between the two. Should be anyway. Um, 300,000 for one, I think. I think those are 30,000 a piece. The smalls. Is it? Hmm. So maybe that'd be 900 grand. Yeah, maybe I'll make over a million. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, so um, everything has been going really, really smooth. I. I'm flying with no issues. I'm landing with no issues. I have not crashed outside of, uh, you know, overload my my uh, <laughs> my hover slash ship that had no business trying to uh, carry as much as I was trying to carry. But I successfully did it anyway. I, would, I, I know to go slow enough that if something happens, it's just going to flip over, but it's not going to damage anything. Right. So like when I when I took all the ore over to the market that was only 14 clicks from me I was only doing 30 kilometers a second so that was awesome it, it took a while you know to only go 14 kilometers and I had to go I'll show you how I had to do it because I went here so in my base is here so I had to go along I, I went around the water just like this then I went through here and then up through there so that at 30 clicks that took a while i think we had to do like 30 minutes it was crazy but it was worth it because did not crash whatsoever so that was awesome and just again practice 
practicing and getting to know the game better, these freaking wings made a huge difference. I went from extra small wings to, I think these are smalls. And the way I'm able to just climb, descend, descend was fine before, but the way I'm able to just boom and go right back up, I couldn't do that <laughs> with an empty ship. Everything's empty. I couldn't do that with, uh, what the heck is that? Whoa, is that somebody's ship just standing there? Oh, no, no, he's flying too. Okay, got it. I'm like, what? How's that a thing? Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with, uh, with everything empty, if I did like this, and then quickly did like that, oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the ship got confused or something. It did not end well. So, these wings make a huge difference on this little ghetto rig that I have but it'll be okay because I'm going to continue to just um, take this ship and do my little uh, my commute back and forth until they fix the dynamic property issue that I'm having this is something else that I've learned I go down to 40% and then I click over to cruise control and then I go down to like 200 and I coast until I get right above my the parking spot, this is, it works for me. So I come down like just like this, and I then I come down to 150, right there, and then right when I know I'm over this, I come all the way down to zero, real quick, just like that. That's all I do, and it works every time with no failures, bro. I have not crashed whatsoever, and then. To remember where I park, I always like to park right in this little white square. Right there. Boom. That's your boy. That's your boy right there. Now, the problem... Uh, oh, this is something else that I knew. I came here and I had... Um, before, this is before I started going to the other market. I had this container full of stuff. I had my person full of stuff. And... I came and I'm like, wait a minute, where's the market? I can't, where, I won't be able to sell. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I just go over here. Unfortunately, once you market, you come right here and you teleport to the actual market, you lose connection with your ship. I'm like, where am I? So I basically teleported from here over to there. And... I don't have enough length with my augmented, what is that called? Aug augmented primary container where you can go 250 meters. I think I'm at 750 um, right now. So a total of, I think, one point something kilometers. But I still have two more upgrades to go. So like an additional 500 meters. So, anyway, that's where I am right now. And right now we're going to go here. And I'm going to do core, oops, medium. Okay. That's right. I think it's core unit medium or something like that. Static core. Yeah, right there. There we go. Boom. Bada bing. Okay. Okay. Let me do create a cell order. And we want to do, I'm at seven, mm, active container, why won't it let me, storage, here's my container, here it is, oh, I did the wrong one, small, that's right, I have 30, what am I doing? Or um, static core unit small. There we go. Okay. And market Alioth District 7, 60 grand. Nice. But what's the going rate? Okay. See, this is what I'll be competing with. Because someone can easily just teleport over to these different districts and snatch those up. Instead of paying 60000 here. 
if that makes sense. So I'm going to put it down for 30. Create sales order. Um, seven, my active container. We're going to do 30. We're going to do 30,000. Um, and we're going to do a month. 30,000 each. There we go. Create order. All right. And we're going to do a container. I think I can do this, right? Container M. Yep. Perfect. Basic container M. And what? Who's selling this for 24 grand? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Man. Hey, you guys need to find out whoever's selling these for 24 grand, okay? We need we need to have a chat with this with this cat. They don't understand, bro. They don't get it. I think I'm gonna do there's a lot of them. Let's do two hundred thousand. Man, I like that two twenty five though. I really do. I don't know if it ever sell though with all these available. I mean that's not many. You figure how many players are playing right now. These probably get snatched up pretty quick. But it's no telling how, how often someone's going to put it down at this low price. Um, let me do 199 I like that 225 though. Man. I like this price tag. But, oh well. Alright, let's do... This should be defaulted. Like if I thought if, if I'm here at the hey, did I already sell one? I can't remember. Okay, anyway, if I if I'm here at the district seven, it should default to this. One and let's do mm. Oh man, that's cheap, bro. That is so cheap. Let's do a month. All right, create order. Bastards. That's so cheap. I want to see how fast this sells. This is where it should be. Okay, anyway. All right, so orders. Uh, yep, nothing is sold. 900,000. Nice. Now yep, nine hundred grand. Nice. That'd be good. That'd be a nice low payday. So we got that listed. Uh oh. Uh see, wasn't paying attention. As soon as I came down here, I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. <laughs> this doesn't look right, bro. There we go. Alright. Um, there we are. Now we can go back, and the next step is basically now that we have the medium container in place, we need to transfer all of our product from that large container over to the small container. Um, I just, uh, there we go. And then start coming up with a plan because I want to mass produce. We need to mass produce to really get going. Whoa, get up there. Whoa. Man, I did that one time. I wasn't paying attention. I just turned it up to 100%, pointed it up in the air, and I thought it was getting ready to get off You know that platform. And I actually hit something on the corner of the platform, and it took off one of my engines. <laughs> That was during the beta. I don't know what video that was. But I went tumbling down. It wasn't fun. Just saying. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it for now. So what I'll do. I'll cut the video. I'll come back. Um, once I. Ooh, that looks nice down there. Somebody has a nice little. Ooh, they have a nice uh, ship and everything. Nice. Yeah, so I, I have to figure out how I want to go. Uh, how do I want to stack the warehouse? 
uh, my manufacturing facility rather how do I want to set it up basically I know I want to be able to land walk down that that's all I know right now right I want to have that center aisle and I want it to be centralized throughout the entire manufacturing facility where you can go up to all the different floors walk right down the center aisle and have access to everything you need to have access to but then I want to put hubs down on the lower level so that I don't have to go into the the warehouse I mean into the manufacturing facility um, in order to grab items the unfortunate part of this here is an idea for the developers right we're able to put all material into a container and have all the machines any machine pull from those containers right they need to adopt a a similar methodology to the schematics instead of having to go up to the machines manually and load these schematics in that's craziness to me man would they need to have some type of digital distribution right a schematic is digital right they need to, there needs to be some type of digital distribution device where we can set up a schematic bank and then we can have up to I don't know 50 machines or 100 machines or whatever um, whatever the, that number is connected to that schematic machine or schematic distribution point and whenever a machine needs a schematic it can pull from that device instead of us having to load up each one of these machines manually um, and I hope they're not doing this to keep us from wanting to manufacture multiple items because that is that is, that is exactly what it will do it is going to limit how many different lines I have producing different items because bro it, it, you'll get to a point where your your entire play time is running around putting schematics in and machines remembering which machines need what schematic oh that would be a disaster right so maybe that's what they intend and if that's the case then we just have to be very very systematic in setting up the warehouse i mean the manufacturing facility i keep saying warehouse the manufacturing facility so which i can do i mean it's no big deal I always put it on a spreadsheet. All right, so let's bring this down to 30%. Let's do it on cruise control. Let's try to land this bad boy. And we're going to go down to about a buck 50. I mean, I used to dread trying to land. I really did. It was so bad. Now I can almost nail these pretty, pretty good. Watch this. Boom! Look at your boy. Look at your boy, man. Look at that. That was awesome, right? A little crooked, but it was awesome. <laughs> For me? Are you kidding me right now? That was freaking epic. For me. Because you guys, you guys saw how bad it was. Your boy needed some help. Like, I needed divine intervention. I think I did. I need to go into a prayer circle. <laughs> I needed help. All right? I couldn't, man, I couldn't take off right. It was so bad. I was crashing every other time. But yeah, it's gotten pretty easy now. Practice, practice, practice. So, next step. Let's go here. See, I started talking. I didn't have to cut the video. Um, let's go territory unit. Boom. Because that's what I was getting ready to manufacture some of those as well. Come on, man. Get in there. There we go. So, the link container is the huge one that I have over there. So, we're going to try to load as much as we can here. Yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do. Let's go down and see how much we can grab from here. All the way to here. Let's see. Since the large is at 46%, I'm thinking that we may be able to put everything into a medium. Hmm. Look at there. It's going. That's awesome. Wow. So everything did fit. 
Look at that. <laughs> That's freaking great. All right. So let's go over here and let's go get our little uh, container. And we'll grab our other ship, other, uh, our hover vessel. Because I'll, I'll take the hover vessel around to the different locations and get the ores. And yeah, I have not seen these ores regen this entire area now. They're all gone. So I don't know, maybe it's once a week. Don't know if they regen at all. All right. Build mode. Let's do this. Number one. Hold alt. Boom. Ba oh, wait a minute. Boom, baby. Yeah. Number I like number seven there we go delete that and we are golden bro we are good what the what's wrong with you what are you doing okay i saw this little red piece here it's supposed to be green why are these moving oh never mind that's just how it is sometimes all right no worries uh, we're gonna put this in here you know what? I'm an idiot. I was supposed to link. Uh, no, I wasn't. That's right. Because it was uh, it was all, it was almost full. So we're gonna do this. Let's get in our little Camaro Zero One. That's my car, bro. That's my car. I, I should put that on the channel. <laughs> when I get it, I no I have it yet. I'm I'm waiting on the new. It's they're supposed the last Camaro Zero One manual. Is supposed to be coming out. Uh, what the heck is going on with this thing? Okay, there we go. Within the ne by next summer, it'll be the last manual transmission of all. Oops, come on, stop. There you go. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Of all the Chevy Camaros, and it's supposed to be dope. Almost 700 horse, bro. 700 giddy up. So. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, well, this is what I wanted to do. Let's put the large container down. I don't know. I'll put it down there somewhere out of the way. There. Beautiful. Now it's out of the way. So now I can make this my linked container again. And I can put what the oh okay. I didn't know what that was. All right, so we can do this, do that, bring this over here, bring this in here. Hmm. I try to give it too much to do. Probably. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. And it's seeing how big these mediums are and how much space goes into these mediums, I don't really know if those are necessary inside of the warehouse. Um, when you, and this is what I need to get to know, right? Cause I've never set up something like this, this big, even before I told you guys before, back in 2019, when I launched my channel and I had dual universe on the channel, man, mining consumed so much time because you had to go down into the freaking planet and find these large super nodes and all those other, oh, it was, it was a hassle. I, I, that was one of the reasons why I stopped playing because that was taking the fun out to me and in one of my videos i said they really need to set up auto miners like they really need to i think that's when satisfactory came out and i got into satisfactory because of the auto miners and you know the, the nodes never disappearing i'm like i that's that's what i want and that's when they finally did it in this game and that's when i came back so anyway my point of saying that was i i never had something with these many machines 
just this this quick i've only this is only like episode six or seven and i already have more machines than, than i ever had in a hundred episodes back in 2019 2020 you know so anyway um so based on what i'm seeing when i go to a bigger container like this i don't see it having a benefit over because this is a medium right and this is it's a small yep the only benefit of course is uh, is the capacity it can hold not the connections that you have i think they're both limited to 10 right 10 in 10 out maybe i think that's how that works and then the materials aren't sitting in these very long because it if it's going to get refined here it's going to get dumped into a small container and then immediately get pulled out by some other machine that's going to create another part, dump it into another small container, then get pulled out again by another machine. So it seems like the only large container that I need is when I'm dumping all the ore in because the ore, I think that's the most mass. Because I've noticed if you take the ore and you refine it down to the pure the pure silicon or whatever it weighs half as much that's what it seems like so my point is i can have a large where i dump all the ore and then i'm going to have machines pulling the ore from that large container i'm going to have the refiners pulling that ore and from there it i only might need these smalls throughout the manufacturing facility so i think i may start with that and see how that goes see and make adjustments accordingly right because i can always use the smalls these extra smalls are like bro it, 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 these belong on small ships and small ships only i don't really see the purpose of having those maybe for decoration <laughs> you can't put much in there all right so anyhow next step we finally have the large container here we've decided on this color purple which is what i need to get made right now um glossy dark purple plastic so how much can i make i thought i had oh glossy dark purple ah okay i was making some I just, I need 900 liters of this stuff. Let's do a thousand. There we go. Boom, Berber. I didn't pay attention to that 900 here. Oh, wait a minute. I already have 544. Okay. So let's just do, oops. Let's do 525 there. That way it doesn't take as long. All right. So, and that's only 90 meters. Yeah. Ouch. I need a th like a thousand of this. Oh, that's gonna be oof. That's gonna be brutal. Um, and let's see, glossy black plastic uses the same stuff. Polycarbonate plastic product and black brick uses brick product which uses these two hmm 75 liters takes one minute 30 seconds glossy black oops it only takes six oh one minute yeah okay hmm but it only takes this is easy to come by and so is this the carbon is really easy to come by that aluminum that's been my achilles heel bro Oof. aluminum been killing me okay um all right we're gonna do ah man this this is a hard sell for me this brick because it, it just didn't have the pizzazz I thought it was going to have. Maybe I need to do like a black pattern something. Hmm. Let's see. Is there a black pattern of some sort? 
Yeah, that. See, I thought it was going to look. See this pattern here? See that in there? I thought it was going to have that inside the brick, and I don't see that. Ooh, now that's dope, but uh, man. Um, oof, now that's. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> that's a headache. Black pattern steel. Black pattern wood. No. Black pattern iron. Mm. Steel. Um, hmm. Is there a black aluminum? Painted black aluminum. Painted black aluminum. Ouch. <laughs> the aluminum, bro. That aluminum is that's brutal. This bauxite. It seems like everything takes bauxite, so I'm I'm kind of hesitant on that. I I seem to accumulate a lot of quartz and a lot of um, coal. So coal is carbon. What is quartz? What does quartz make? Um, Hold on, hold on, let's go over. It's an easy way for me to find out. I forgot what quartz makes. I'm going to configuration. Silicon. Yeah, I have quartz. I always have a lot of that. Hematite, I have a lot of that. It's the, it's this, this bauxite. That's what seems to go the fastest. The aluminum. So I think uh, the coal, let's do something with coal. Okay. All right, I'll make that decision. Get the get the floor finished in here. Because as of right now, I mean, it's, it's, I'm acting like this is the entire factory and it's not. Because we have so much here and then we're going to go up a floor. Um, once that time is right. But I need to figure out where I want to put my hub like when I come walking in the door I land my awesome ship that I'm gonna buy I'm going to have I just came back from a couple of different planets I'm balling out of control I have five zillion tons of ore right I, I pull up I'm linked to the containers inside my ship I want to come in here and I want to drop off all my ore like turn Boom, and there's like um, a hub with a LCD, LED screen that has a picture of whatever, ores or something like that. I don't really know how that works. I've seen LCD screens with pictures on them, so I'll, I'll look into that because I want to have something fancy smancy. I like the fancy smancy. Do that, dump the ore. And then from there, I want everything automated. Boom, 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 boom. I want the ore to go to its... These will be pulling from the from that hub, whatever the hub is connected to. And then from there, it'll be dumped into a container from the container to be pulled into something else. So I just need to identify how I want to set that up. Hmm, they, these are going to be, oh, you know what? This is, where's that door? I need to get my door set up. Because I really need to be able to visualize it. So this uh, basic assembly line medium. I have all the parts. Okay, so basic assembly line medium. Where is that at? You there you are. Well, we're gonna do a door, bro. Reinforce. Boom. Does that require a schematic? Oh man. Tier one small element. Tier one small. Do we have any of those? Tier one small element. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we have one slider. All right. Just want to make one start. And it's going to come from. Let's do my link from here to there. Boom. And then from there to this big boy right there. There you go. How long is this going to take? 30 minutes. What the? <laughs> Killing me, man! You killing me, bro? I, I'm gonna sue these guys. Door, uh, reinforced sliding doors. How much are those going for? What? 
200,000? Good God. I'm in the wrong business. Hmm. I wonder do they sell? Huh. Okay. So, again, and that's part of... I want to put the door in. And then from there, learn where I want to put like the hub and all that stuff. But I need to like make my decision on what do I want to manufacture first. And I think we should smart with we should start with um, like a small container, manufacturing small containers, and then manufacturing the medium container, manufacturing the large container. Can I do that all on the first floor? The first floor can be container manufacturing, right? The second floor could be, um, hmm, maybe miner, miners, the auto miner. Maybe that could be the second floor, and then go from there. Man, I may have had, I may have to have a door, a, a door uh, level, the door selling for two hundred thousand. I'm in the wrong business, bro. How much do these other ones sell for? Um, oh, you know what? Th you see this? Lowest selling price, fourteen at two hundred thousand. Highest selling price, average selling price. Average selling price. Okay, this says selling. It doesn't say sold. Like, how many of these have actually sold? So we need to be able to get a sales history. Come on, man. You're killing me, bro. Uh, okay, so yeah. See, this is based on... May oh, maybe it does once it does sell. Maybe, maybe there is a sold over here. Hold on, let's see. Container... Um, small. I know I've sold some of those, so basic container small. Yeah, it doesn't. It says average selling price, but it doesn't say average sold price. Selling and sold are two different things, right? Highest selling price. That's based on this here lowest selling price okay that's existing that's based on the existing lowest average selling price that's based on the existing selling but it does not give us the sales history of this particular product so that's going to be kind of hard to tell hmm what we really want to get into i i I've, man they could do so much more with this market like those of us who want to be just traders we want to trade and, and do things like that this needs to give us more information, right? Just like I want to know what's the most in-demand item at any given market, right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyhow. All right, guys. So, oh, what did we just craft? Oh, we crafted this. Oh, oh okay. The ones before that got it. All right, and you're already doing 20 minutes. Okay, all right, guys, I'll cut the video, and I'll come back. I think I'm just going to do plastic in here all the way around. Um, maybe, mm, maybe we can leave the tree. You know, we don't have any other trees. That's fine. I just didn't want the trees to uh, occupy too much space when you come in, but... That's something else. If I'm going to have the tree visible, I want to be able to see it, which I will because I'm going to have glass going down the hallway. So you'll be able to walk. I'll be able to walk and look in and see everything being manufactured and see the trees, and things like that. Look down and see the floor. I like that. But I didn't, I didn't want a lot of it, but this is pretty sweet. What the? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Security, <laughs> quality control, <laughs> building maintenance, <laughs> somebody. Uh, there's some glass missing right here. I just fell to my death. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's, 
That's bad. I seriously thought that was some glass down there. <laughs> that, that seriously surprised me. I did not know that there was no glass right there. I thought I had put glass in all these, but now I remember I took that glass out to be able to put it up here. So I can get this fitted. Hmm. And also what I want to do, like, as this is the hallway going down, I want to run this illumination all the way down the center of the uh, aisle. All floors. I want that illuminating going all the way down. And I think what I want to do is put illumination on the corners. I want this p corner piece all the way down and all the way up being illuminated but I will, I'm going to do that in purple bro oh that's going to be nasty oh mm, that's going to be so sweet so dope um hmm oh you know what else would be pretty sweet what if I put some illumination underneath what the underneath like here and that way you can see like an underglow as you're walking through the facility. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. But have it a different color, of course. Ooh, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I'll do all that later when I have some more money. Oh, that's another floor. It's going to be the luminescent. I'm going to have... I'm, I'm planning, depending on if I can make that happen. I'm planning on having the luminescent manufacturing of at least my favorite colors. So I want to do orange. Well, purple's my favorite. But then let's do... The purple, the white, orange, blue, and green. I don't know how many other colors it has. Let's do that. Um, so, yes, yeah, cyan, cyan, dim glass, faint glass, icy blue. Ooh, oh, 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 that's sweet. That's kind of dope. Yeah, that's hot, hot pink. That's good for breast cancer awareness month. Uh, orange, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Red, I mean, never, never mind. That reminds me of bad. Um, white, yep, and yellow, yep, yep. I'll just do them all. One, two, there's uh, not that many different colors, and they all use the same exact product, which is amazing. So that just means I can have two glass furnaces running for each color. That's it. All pulling from, well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight. So I can have a maximum of 10 items pulling from one container. Hmm. Okay, well, I can always just set up two containers and split them between. I'll make sure I have an even number of machines. I have two containers feeding them both, all being pulled from one container. So those two containers split for the glass furnaces can be pulling from the same container. So we'll have a container that has the advanced glass product and uncommon LEDs being deposited. And then from that container, it'll split out to two other containers, which would then feed the glass furnaces split because I'll be running like six and six, like 12 of those containers, something like that. Seven and seven, whatever, whatever works out. But anyway, yeah, that's that's going to be awesome. Fun, 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 fun. All right, guys, real quick before the sun goes down. So I found it. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? I was looking for something that had texture to it. That had a little, it's not matte black, but it's not glossy. It has a little shimmer to it. See the reflection from the paint. Isn't that sweet? Anyway, so this is called Black Pattern Iron. You have no idea, guys. I spent about an hour. Honestly, I I let me show you how much stuff I made. Um, hold on. 
we get out of this inventory let's do black look at all these <laughs> look at all these different patterns i tried and i and some of the other ones i, I started to delete them because i was like i'm never going to use this stuff but i'm like oh no i wanted to show you guys i actually had like every single black pattern except for carbon fiber i didn't i wasn't interested in carbon fiber but everything else yeah i tried them all so anyway this is what i'm going to do the floor in and i think i might do the outside i might i haven't decided yet i might do the outside the same the the black portion of it and i already got i already showed you guys i've already replaced this here with the new purple the new purple is glossy dark purple plastic cold that's the color I'm going with so I'm going to replace this too I don't like this is too light I like this deeper purple that's man that's man purple right there <laughs> that's the man aggressive color right there there you go um, and um, I think that's it that's all I, I have done right now I, I spent way too long finding this black pattern that I like so I'm going to put this all the way down what the sorry about that um, I'm gonna put this get the floor done all the way around I need to make some more glass because I want to put I want to match this here over there each way all the way down um, also what I'm thinking the right here I'm going to run glass all the way up however many floors it goes all the way up and this illuminating right here this luminescent I'm going to have that go up and replace this and it's gonna go all the way up the front of the building here and all the way up the front of the building and then on the corners of the building and around the landing strip all the way around the luminescent stuff yeah and then I want to put of course I want purple luminescent as well um, I have to decide where to put that because it's, this white looks great period but if you put the purple um, it, 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 it kind of messes with your eyes a little bit <laughs> a little bit at night this looks like bright white light right it looks like you just turn the lights on imagine having a dark purple light in your room yeah it's sweet for a little while but then it's like man i can't see <laughs> it put some lights on right so i maybe the purple luminescent might be something that i put as underglow right so with the the white luminescent going down like this all the way around you'll be able to spot this bad you'll be able to spot my landing strip from over to where the sun is right um and then underneath maybe i'll run some purple luminescent or something maybe underglow i don't know we'll see so far to go um and yeah that's it for now so i'll come back probably in game tomorrow when the sun comes back up because it's friday and it's only 7 p.m here october 7th friday 7 p.m today is it is october 8th and it's 12 21 a.m so i'm shooting this still on the same day i started you know october 7th but it just turned to midnight so it's october 8th but anyway, so this is going to be the last part of this video, but it's going to be a little long. So maybe this video is going to be, I don't know, between an hour and a half, two hours. Don't know. Um, I find it entertaining. So as long as I as long as I feel as it was entertaining, I won't cut it, cut any pieces out. But I've, I've spent the last uh, probably 30 minutes going through all the potential first assembly lines I wanted to set up and what I came to the conclusion is I think the best thing to set up right now is the medium core I mean the medium container okay it has the assembly line which is large and it goes for a nice hefty price tag of uh, like 199,000 let's, let's, let's double check Large oops, I said container. Um, let's do a medium basic container, medium, and yep, the one that I put for sale earlier in this video already sold. So, I again it sold for $199.99, and 
as you can see there's people already putting more on there for 199 I'm going to put when I make a batch I want to put some on there for like 210 to yeah like see this guy has the right idea 224 you guys I'm still harping on the 225 area but I wanted to get it sold so 199 seemed like they, they'll go quickly but we'll see um, if I go small how much do those sell for yeah these things see and so many people make these look at all these you know this person has nine three eight yeah so I'm thinking I'll start with mediums hmm maybe I should do small maybe think quantity over quality uh, maybe think quantity as far as being able to make more in less time hmm interesting so anyway regardless if I do small first it takes a lot less components but the same line if that makes sense so like the basic component basic hydraulics basic reinforced frame the parts don't change okay so if I do medium watch the parts they don't change but the amount necessary do see oh this one does this is the large never mind so okay this is the medium the other one's a large so maybe I will start with the the small first and see how they do so we want to set up I walk in the door and I want to be able to come here and deposit my ore okay the ore um, let's move you to here um like right there there we go okay to there now let's look at the okay so we have all of these Which ones are, oh, is this these? Okay, got it. So all of these are thrown into here. Okay. So I walk in the door, I throw in my ore. The ore then goes to these four machines. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now these four, because these are basic ores, they don't require schematics, which is freaking awesome, right? So we have bauxite, we have coal, we have hematite, and we have quartz. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw our, let's take all this, put it over here, and we're going to take, I'm going to sort this by mass high. We're going to take this over here, this over here this and this there we go so there there that's all the ore we have and now all of these are running okay so we're gonna go to craft and let's do the for we need aluminum iron and we need to shove that out to a smelter okay so we want to move. I want to move this. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. So the ore will go from here to here. And then I want it to come out to, let's say, here. Okay. And we have here to here. Okay, now we are going to, yeah, might as well just go straight down the line, right? Yeah, why not? So we'll move these. I don't know where these are going to be needed. Just get them out of the way. You guys see I put some more flooring down over there. Okay. 
you out of the way, out of the way. Okay. Um, yeah, you can get out of the way too, buddy. Get over there and get get some sunshine. There you go. Now we're gonna take this. What? Where's the front? Um. Well, this is the screen. Ah, uh, no worries. It doesn't really matter. Let's bring this over here. Let's rotate it. And let's get it pretty close so we don't waste any space. But, but we want to be able to walk in between it. So maybe here. Is that enough? Yeah, it's fine. So we're looking at here. So then we're going to go from here to there. Okay. We want to remove out to smelter because the smelter is going to pull from here. Okay, so let's go back to the craft. And the smelter is going to make, what is this called? AL. Um, yeah, we're good. And we're just going to keep running. Um, aluminum and iron. Perfect. And all this is running. Boom, boom. Yep, just kicked in. So now this, let's move you to like here. Okay, so go back here. We're going to take out this one. We want this one to go to there. All right. Now, just going to kick this out, and we need this for this component. This component needs to be made by electronics industry medium. Electronics, isn't that this? I think, right? Electronics, yep, that's it. So, Let's do number nine, get you over here. And we're gonna do one space in between. So let's do about right there. Now, um, let's get you back one to about there. Okay, and you to about there. Perfect, all right. So we want you to run, what are these called? Basic components. Oops, yeah, that stopped. Basic. Basic components does not require a schematic. Run indefinitely. Get it going. So input is going to be, nope. And we don't want to do that in a minute. Input, remove, out, remove, in. So it's going to go from here to there. Okay. And now I need another... Exactly. I need more... Dang it. Alright, so from for now, this is just going to output to here. So it's going to be outputting basic components. Okay. Now... Next in this line is basic hydraulics. Basic hydraulics is um, basic metal work, but we need to do steel product. Steel product is again the smelter, which pulls from here. So we need another smelter. That's what we need in order to do this line. Okay. So I need to probably build three or four more of these. Let's see what's all involved in a smelter, I forgot. Oh boy. This is assembly line medium. Those are occupied for the foreseeable future because I have four hours remaining building these territory units. These are three territory units being built and it's gonna be four hours before I can build more of these. We need, I'll probably build three of these, three more of these. This is no telling what I'm going to need it again. Because we need, um, oops. And 
container. Oh, dang it. Container small right there. We need, okay, so basic hydraulics. So that's going to build the steel. Smelter is going to do steel. And then we need basic pipes. Again, this is the metal work, and it's going to be pulling from Salumen, and that is smelter again, pulling from here. So we're going to need three smelters pulling from this container. Okay, so we need to remove all this. Okay, you need to remove this. Um, let's remove you. We're going to... Oh. You don't have any, okay, remove this one, any, any, yep, remove all these. We're going to clean all this up. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to cut this short. I'll be back. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, to, it is, it's October 8th. It is 12.30 in the morning, but... It's going to be hours before this is done. So, and then tomorrow we have a full day. I have a full day. Um, so, it'll probably be tomorrow night by the time I can come back to this episode. So, at least the territory units will be done. Um, all that ore will be processed. I don't know if it'll fill this up or not. This being a small. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's eating. That's going pretty quick. We don't, we don't need this. Yeah, see, that stuff eats up a lot of space. We should have to be able to get a sorter or something. Um, can I delete this? Just half of it? Yeah, there we go. Let's just do... We don't just, let's delete half of that. And let's delete half of this. Let's do 2,000 of it. There. Okay, that's, that's generated for free. I'm quite sure you guys know that. And we don't need that much of it. I don't need that much of this. Let's go down to 2,000. There. Okay. All right. This might be we'll just start deleting this out of here because we don't need it. But, yeah, that's awesome. It'll, it'll take care of all that ore. Um, and... Yeah, so I'm going to have to pause the video again. I'll be back because we need to get three more of these made. All right, guys, getting ready to close out this episode. We're going to do a quick review. Today is October 9th. And here we are. This is what we did this episode. Looky, 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 dog. So this is my current process. I go out. I can. I collect my ores from my four different play, my four different locations. Before I go, lo before I go out and get my ore, I always make this my primary container. So as I'm collecting my ore, it goes into this container, and these four, which are, it covers all four of the um, the tier one ores, pull from this container. They automatically they process it. I have them set to run infinitely, so they're always looking to pull from that, and they throw it into these containers. I'm going to replace this probably with the medium, because the this stuff here, the pure oxygen and pure hydrogen, they build up so quick. I have to continue to delete these, but it eats up a lot of space. Anyway, so now from here, I have this one making silumen silumen or whatever you want to say this one makes a l f e this one makes steel and this one makes steel because steel flies through flies quick now if i turn on number six this this one throws its out products to here this goes here this one goes here and this one goes here so this one here, which is the slumen, with the going here, it's being pulled to here. That makes my basic connectors. It's also being pulled to here because it makes pipes. Most likely, I think it makes pipes. Hold on. 
Come on. There we go. Yep, it makes pipes. And I have it set to maintain a thousand pipes. 954. Isn't that awesome? So the out from here gets thrown back into this. Okay? And from here, it goes up to... Um, oh, that one makes pipes as well. So that one, this one, and this one pull from this container. So we have two pipes, and then this one makes my basic hydraulics, which require pipes and steel product. And again, the pipes are being made by here, these two. That's why I haven't been thrown back here to be then pulled up to there. This one is making basic hydraulics because again, it, we have it requires so many and I have set to maintain 500. There's only 70 in the container. I'll tell you why. This one here, basic reinforced large frame, set to maintain five. There are five in the container. This one, set to maintain five of large. Wait a minute, that's large and this one's large? Uh, that's, that's no good. Uh, one of those is supposed to be medium. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I need to make more. That's right. I switched both of these to largest because I'm going to make more of these. And I'm going to stack. I'm going to start going vertical. I wanted to get my outline out. I wanted to get an idea of how this was going to sit. And then I'm going to make this as streamlined as possible. Example, um, I don't know if I want to keep this four wide. I might go two. Two wide and then go up. Um, or I might keep it four and then put four more above it because I'm going to continue expanding my ore, my um, my territory. So I think I'm going to go, my next one may be here and here. And then my next one here, here, and here. Yeah, so that way I think I'm going to grab these. And the reason why I'm going to go with land instead of going out into the water right now is because it's... Um, a little bit more taxing to get your above water miner set up because I don't want the miners being down in the ground. I mean, down underwater. I don't even know if that's a thing. If you can put miners up in underwater, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Probably is, seeing as though you can have your ship underwater and then fly up out of the water. <laughs> so you're quite sure they probably have it where you can set your miners up as well. Um, but I think I'm going to go here first, expand here. Um, and go around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then maybe add one more. Maybe add one here. So it'd come like this. So anyway, the reason why I said that because I want I want these to be able to process the ores fast enough to be able to push through here. So. Um, th all of these throw their materials, well, except for those two throw their materials back there. But from here over, throws their material here. This gets pulled into here. As, as of right now, that's all it gets pulled into because I'm having them um, create the basic containers. And as of right now, I have three containers in um, storage getting ready to be sold. So let's t let's check my money. I have 1.5 million, right? And I'll show you. Um, da, 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 um, tab. Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to do here. Show you guys what I did. So um, the schematics are crazy expensive. So I got I had $39,000 from one basic container small. 79,000 for two basic containers small, 118,000 for four static cores small, and then 590,000 for 20 static core units that I, I had already built and threw to the market. I think you guys saw that already. Um, 245 for a territory unit and static core, static core. So that's how I've made my money. Um, and I have a couple days. Let's check territories yeah I have four more days before I have to actually pay for this so I'm gonna be able to make make a nice little chunk of change because those medium containers all three of those I'm getting ready to put on the market 
let's check the market right now. Oops, wrong button. Um, container, oop. Container as of right now, if I do medium, we want to do basic. We're going to do boom, 200,000. Now these are in Haven, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. I want to see what the cheapest one on Alioth is. Chief, the cheapest one on Alioth is District Three, and that's for 210. But they hover right around 229. See that? That's where I think I'm going to price mine. I like the price point of 225. I think that's where I'm going to put mine. Put three for 225. Um, and just keep it there because you, I mean, I'm not worried about Haven. I'm again going back to Alioff. So the only one cheaper than 225 would be this one at 210. So that one to get bought up first, and then mine to get bought up at 225. So that'd be 225. What's that? 750,000? 725,000? 225, 225. That's uh, 500 grand. 450. 225, 225, 450. And then another 225, 456, 675. Yeah. So 675. That's not bad. Six hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for three containers. Not bad at all. And the only reason why I don't have more is because I was waiting on these to get done. Um, one, two, three. Oh wait a minute. Tier one product material. No, that's not what I need. Oh crap! Don't tell me I forgot to run those. Tier one medium. Oh boy. Tier one media. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. Let's take them all. There we go. Tier one medium elements, comedic copy. Yep, nine missing input. Basic, okay. Containers. Basic hydraulics, only 97. Hmm, what's the hold up, bro? What is the hold up? Oh, it was because I just I just ran and got more ores. That's why. Okay. That's the hold up. Okay. So this needs steel product and pipes. How much do we have in there? Steel pro oh, okay, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, this is maxed out okay beautiful all right so that is the line right now and I I figure I'm going to put four more of these down um, I'm going to see how efficient these are running if these are lagging behind um, right now I think that's the only adjustment needs to be made maybe I don't I may not need to make four more of these don't know um, I do know that I'm getting ready to make another large, probably two to three more large ass assemblers. Um, getting prepared to make the large miners because I need to make large miners before I expand. Because right now, I'll show you my inventory. Oops, wrong one. I'll show you my inventory. I actually have I have the territory units. I have two territory units. I, I made those. I haven't purchased anything in the game. I want to be able to make my own stuff. So I, I have two of those. I already have the two static cores to go into those two new territories. I have, I'm going to do two small containers, which I can just take from here because these are three smalls. I'll take two of these smalls. I'll put a medium container here, which is going to be getting made pretty soon once the basic hydraulics gets up to 125 which would be in no time so um, I'll put a medium here steal two of these put them into the territories the only thing I have to do now is just go ahead and make four large miners and one no yeah maybe I will just make four large miners and don't make uh, no 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 I'll make three large miners and one small one and the reason is I'm not seeing any advantage of putting a large miner down over the quartz when the quartz is only like 
you know, 37 an hour. That's it. That's all it's going to give you. I don't think a, um, a large is going to extract any more than that. So, um, and that's it for now, guys. So until next episode, man, you guys stay positive, be positive, act positive, put it in your brain process, guys. That's the only way to be positivity. Next episode coming soon. It's your boy.